Welcome to another one of my reviews for Optics Warehouse. Today I'll be taking a look at the Vector Minotaur 12 to 60 by 60. If you want to go big on a budget, this might be the scope for you. Let's do the walk around. I did say if you want to go big this could be the scuff for you. Let's start off as I always do at the front end as I go through all the specifications of this scope. We start off with a 60mm objective lens which in its class is huge. Moving down to the 34mm tube which is even becoming popular in the budget scope ranges now. Now moving to the turret it's a bit of a mixed bag. The turrets are very easy to use. You can grip them. They've got nice serrations on the outside. They make a nice audible click. What I will say is the only the windage turret has the locking facility by pulling it in and out. This is missing on the elevation turret, which quite frankly, I don't know why. Moving to the side here, we have the parallax focus adjustment and it will focus all the way down to 10 yards, 10 metres, which is fantastic for air gunners. It will also focus all the way up to infinity if you want to reach out a little bit. Further down the scope here, we have the magnification ring. Now the magnification is the big seller of this scope. It is 60 times magnification on its maximum setting. And to be honest, I do not know another scope in its class that can reach that. This, the magnification goes all the way from 12 times magnification through to 60. It's nice firm ring. It works very well. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. And again, nice serrations on the outside to make sure you don't slip. Coming further back here is the illuminated reticle. This is probably a good time to talk about the reticle. It is a floating dot reticle which is becoming very popular again at the moment and the very centre of that floating dot can be illuminated using the illuminated reticle here. What I will say is the button on the illuminated reticle can be a little finicky and sometimes won't turn on until you give it a few um, stabs at it. I've had this confirmed by other owners of this scope. Now what I will say is when you're on 60 mag you've got that floating dot in the middle of the reticle you can place that to a high degree of accuracy on the bench rest target and to be honest I haven't used a scope where with this degree of magnification and this level of being able to place the, the centre dot in the target. I'm not saying that it'll give you more accurate results but visually it's very impressive. Moving right to the back here, again like every other scope, the eyepiece is adjustable um, to help you um, use the scope with your eye prescription. It focuses up the reticle, lovely and crisp, and does the job. At this point I usually ask, will the scope track? And I do my own little test where I adjust the turrets and move them back to the original point of aim to see if the point of impact has changed. So, let's see what happened. So, how do I do my tracking tests? Well, as you can see, I have five columns. And in the first column, I take a shot with the gun sighted in. In the second column, 
I do 15 clicks up, 15 clicks back down and fire to see if the gun returns to zero. I then do it in the third column and I do 15 clicks down and 15 clicks back up and see if the gun returns to zero. And I do the same with left and right. I would normally do this five times but the weather was appalling and I had to wait for in between gusts of wind before I could shoot even down the side of my house which is usually shielded. So I only managed to do three lines but these also nearly took me an hour to shoot. But as you can see the tracking on this scope is absolutely fine. But what I will say is although the clicks on the scope are very audible there isn't really much of a thud when you move it and I found I really had to concentrate when counting the clicks to make sure I didn't overrun while I was doing the test. As you can see there's no problem there and yes the scope will track. At this point I asked the other question will the scope bench? In short yes the scope will bench. I love the ease of being able to place that small centre dot using the 60 magnification to a very high degree of accuracy on the target. It made it very comfortable and easy to use for me. So let's talk about the positives of this scope. First of all it's big glass. It's got great light gathering characteristics and it's got a bright picture when you're using it. It's a good solid scope. It's got a 34 millimeter tube. It's got a nice floating reticle that can be illuminated for those dull conditions. But the big selling point about this scope in its price range is that 60 times magnification. And I must admit, it is impressive. Things do look big. And as I said before, when you're shooting into a paper target, it looks like you're creating your own sinkholes compared to other scopes of less magnification. At over £400, you're getting into entry-level Citron Benchrest scope territory so if you are wanting a purely bench rest only scope maybe you need to look at the features of other brands to make sure you're choosing the right one if you're wanting a more of a crossover scope or big magnification really is key to you then this could be a good option just remember to watch out that it is quite heavy and at over a kilogram when you've got the mounts on you might need to um, consider that when you're building your light varmint rifle for bench rest competitions. Finally, my final thought, and I know I say this all the time, I did enjoy my time with this scope. I think I enjoy any trigger time, to be honest, but I did enjoy my time. I was very impressed with that 60 magnification. Even with Chinese glass, it was very usable and impressive. The scope overall is well built. It's solid. It does have a couple of its foibles, but... As I said before, it's in quite a crowded price range in the marketplace. Just make sure when you're buying the scope that you get all the features you want within this price bracket. And what I will say is, if magnification is key, I don't know how you're going to beat this for the price. Until next time guys, remember, keep living the egg on dream and take care. Bye bye.